Well, here's a look at your second day at camp. Booming. Just a bunch of dummies out there. And the dummies in the front office and the dummy players still arguing over what they need to get done. What I've seen are red. Can't be that far apart unless there's a lot not being said there. Before having pad, more padded practices. Must be something to do with the medical. I don't know. It's got me fooled. I'm sure you don't want to, they won't be out doing much because they don't want to get themselves hurt. But if you can't have padded practices, you know, how do you improve? You know, you don't have to go full bore, but you still have to have some pads on. It's crazy. Oh well. Another season screwed up. I can't afford too many more of these. These negotiations should have been settled months ago. It's like fueling an airplane after it takes off. Pathetic. Really pathetic. Not very professional. Or professional. Indeed. I'll go see if I can find some of the players and see what they say. Here's what your training camp's been looking like. Crazy. This reminds me of so much of that interview with Iverson, that basketball player. I think that was his name. Well, not sure. Let me know if I'm wrong here. Iverson, I think his name was when he goes, Practice? Who needs practice? I think these riders could use practice. I've never heard of practice hurting anybody's performance. A P-Viz. You think the rough riders could put out a bulletin saying, no practice, cancel because of stupidity. Oh well, a few of them getting a bit of exercise. They're all bundled up, this is a bit too cold for them. That might be an issue if they move the league, move the season up 30 days it'll be colder at training camp but I'd rather see it colder at training camp it's still not that bad in April around here anyway and then you get a little better weather at the end uh, hopefully but I don't know if that's a sticking point or not what the biggest issue is beyond me I know they deserve more but how much more can you pay them? That's the thing. I don't know. A lot of these owners there down east, I think they use it as a write-off anyway. Not making no money down there, that's for sure. And then we've got to pay them with equalization payments. Same as we do with the bloody Quebec. That, that pisses me off too. I'm not sure how many players have stuck around. You don't see all that many hanging around. Ah, well, try again tomorrow.